Uh, so remember the building blocks of a car that we talked about? These, these are the parts of a car. This is not all the parts because obviously some of this is already constructed. You have these seats already put together here. You have parts already put on the car here. But there's a lot of pieces. Could you put that together? Could you? Could you put that together? Uh, probably few people could put that together. Now, if you had no directions, could you put it together? Very few could put that together. Some people could, but very, very few. What if you had no tools? What if you didn't have a, a ring compressor to compress the rings when you were putting the pistons in? Uh, what would you do? Maybe you'd do like in the Grapes of Wrath where they put a wire around it and then that wire burned away as the engine ran. Uh, but it'd be hard with no tools. You need building blocks for a car. Each one of these parts is a building block for the car. Well, where do you get those building blocks? Oh, that's easy. You just go to rockauto.com. On Rock Auto, you can go to look up any vehicle, look up any year, and it's very well organized, and you can buy the parts for your car. So this is, again, a shout-out for rockauto.com. You can buy the parts. But what if the parts weren't available? What if you couldn't buy the parts at Rock Auto? You had to go back to the basics and make each one of those parts. What would you do? What do you mean back to the basics? I mean to, you need the building blocks to build those building blocks. To build those building blocks, you need something to build those. Well, that's what you need. You need bauxite, which is aluminum ore, to make all the aluminum parts. You need copper ore to make the copper parts. You need iron ore to make the iron parts. And then you need crude oil to make all the plastic, all the foam cushions, all the synthetic seat covers, any piece of plastic covering over a wire, all that comes from crude oil. Now I ask you, how many people know how to get crude oil into all these forms of plastic? Probably very few. Some, but probably few. How many people know how to take copper ore and get copper out of it so that it's a usable form so you can make all that copper wiring? How many people know how to take iron ore and turn it into steel? How about bauxite or aluminum ore and turn it into first aluminum oxide and then treat the aluminum oxide with a carbon electrode and a very high voltage where your sacrificial carbon electrode goes to CO2 and you reduce the aluminum oxide to aluminum metal. How many people know how to do that? It's hard. So if I told you to go ahead, build that car, build all those building blocks. This is what you have to do to build the building blocks because you're starting with a prebiotic earth. This is what you have to do. Now, if you really had a prebiotic earth, you wouldn't have any crude oil because remember, it is supposed that crude oil is a product of biological degradation. But uh, uh, let's just say you had these and I said, go ahead and build that car. Here's what I'll give you. You'd be like, there's no way. There's no way I can do that. Well, that's what you're stuck with. That's what Origin of Life is up against. It's not just taking building blocks that you can get from rockauto.com, building blocks that you can buy from a manufacturer. It is not buying the carbohydrates already put together in the form that you want. It is having to make those from prebiotic chemicals. It is not taking each one of these compounds and making it from the known building blocks. You have to build the building blocks first before you can use those building blocks to make uh, what you want to make.